All right, this is Justin Rohner coming at you live from the backyard. So we're going over grapes today. So this is agriscaping.com, your elegant edible landscape. It's waiting for you out there and uh, wanted to share with you uh, one of the ways that we love to protect our grapes. Now you can see this grape cluster that I've got right here next to me. And this thing's in a good form to be protected. So this is actually maybe even a little bit too big. And one of our favorite ways to protect these things, I mean, I've got two main plants in my yard, uh, one... This is the uh, red flame seedless grape that I've got right here. And we've got it up growing all over this big old canopy that it, uh, that's, be, that's a, around me. And uh, if I panned around a little bit, let's see if I can show you how many crazy uh, sets we've got. So these fruit are starting to set on. This is the early part of May. And so you can see a lot of these grape clusters. And the thing that I really want to show you is how we protect them. So we had over 75 bunches off of two plants last year. And we got to eat all of them, and that was thanks to these little babies right here. So this bag, let's see if I can zoom over to it. This bag right here, it's called an organza bag. It's just a typical bag that you can get for putting little trinkets in and uh, supplies. Or um, And this bag, you can see at the top of it, we basically just cinch it up right at the top. We pull the strings on, and that's what we actually put onto it. These things are very inexpensive to purchase, but they'll protect your produce for the entire season of growth and maturity. And so that is our favorite way to protect these grapes. The other thing is that we pruned this thing um, back in January to make sure that when it grew, it was gonna grow a massive production of grapes. We've got well over probably 70 just on this one tree. We've got over 70 of these bunches, all very large. This is a wine, this is a wine bottle sized organza bag that we're using and it gets plumb full of grapes. I mean, they end up filling out the entire bag, and so we're thinking to actually go towards the gallon bag and hope that that might be a better approach to be able to accommodate our increasing size of our grapevines. So grapes, very touchy when it comes to how you prune them in order to ensure large grape size. If you have questions on that one, you know, check out our agriscaping site. Uh, our mastery class goes all into the details on how to do that. We'll also be updating this thing on a regular basis, but this right now, this is Green Thumb Thursday, and so you can expect from us, I'll be on TV next week uh, on the news station, so be looking for that. That's a little earlier in the morning. It's at uh, 8 o'clock, usually I'm on about 8.30 with AZ TV, and uh, on the Daily Mix show uh, with Catherine and I and uh, Daniel um, Williams, and so if you want to check that out, I'll be on TV next week, all about the Green Thumb Thursday, and uh, Friday... You know, I call it Feed It Friday, but I think we're going to be going with the Pharmacy Friday. So it's all about organic ways to help with your health, how to grow your own health in your own backyard. Pharmacy with an F, F-A-R-M, a capital F. That's the kind of a pharmacy that we love growing here. I've healed a lot of my own allergies myself. We'll talk about that tomorrow on the next class. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.